When was the last time you simply turned everything off, left all the distractions behind and stayed alone with your own self? Information in the modern world is absolutely everywhere. You've got thousands of TikTok videos available to you, millions of YouTube videos, countless number of Instagram posts, millions of books you can read online, and countless number of podcasts to listen to. Tons of entertaining movies and TV shows to watch. It's almost impossible to escape. We have been trapped in this constant cycle of information. We consume it almost all the time. Watching something while eating, listening to something while studying, cleaning the house and simultaneously listening to a podcast, even going to the restroom taking our phone to stimulate us even there. We're all addicts scared to miss out on something. This information flow never stops. Our brain gets so overloaded that we cannot think clearly nor focus on any usually perceived as boring but necessary task. I struggled to begin writing this video because my thoughts were just all over the place. When we constantly bombard ourselves with new information, even if it's very educational, we take the time from our brain to sort everything into the right places and as a result lose our creativity. It is much harder to come up with new ideas when your mind doesn't have any time to think. Creativity is something I talk about a lot, as I truly believe it is essential for the future progress of our society. It is not that we are losing our capacity to be creative, instead we are just not giving ourselves any time to be creative. We leave no time to our minds so it can marinate all the subconscious ideas that are being formed. We are the most creative when we are not receiving any new information, when we are at peace, simply wondering about the world. It is a popular fact that great ideas usually come to people in the shower, where they are not distracted. Funny how perhaps a shower you once took will turn out to be one of the most productive times in your life. An idea may arise that will change everything. Creativity is at its peak when we fall deep into our minds. That's why Da Vinci used to stare at his artworks for hours, not doing anything. When you're doing nothing, your brain is actually working really hard to sort all the information you've recently received into the right places. Most of us know that consuming incredibly large amounts of information has a negative effect on our lives, but we still don't stop. People worldwide use their screens for an average of 6 hours and 58 minutes daily. And the daily screen time has increased by nearly 50 minutes per day since 2013. The average American consumes nearly 34 gigabytes of information a day. Information overload isn't something fully new to our society. Beginning with the invention of the printing press in the 15th century, scholars and scientists have predicted that each new technological advance that made information more widely available would produce an overwhelming flood that would be impossible to manage. Imagine if people in the 15th century began to struggle with the amount of information available to them. How much we struggle now when we can read almost any book in history online at any time we want. Constantly bombarded by far more information than we can ever truly process, decreases our concentration, acts negatively on our ability to remember things and eventually takes away our ability to be creative and make good decisions. In neuroscience, there is something known as working memory. It is a cognitive system with a limited capacity that can hold information temporarily. It is important for reasoning and the guidance of decision making and ultimately our behavior. Our working memory can hold no more than 10 items at a time. By largely exceeding the limit of what our working memory can store, we erode the efficiency and quality of our cognitive function. If you continue to overload your brain by making it store too much information in working memory, the brain loses its processing power. Further, by overloading the circuits non-stop, we lose the important periods of inactivity. As we discussed earlier, times of doing nothing, receiving no information, that facilitate optimum function of our brain. When we keep the brain too busy, it doesn't get the rest it needs. We pay by suffering a deficit in both short and long term memory as communication between the two is disrupted by overactivity. By choosing to constantly swim in seas of new information, you sacrifice your peace and creativity. Not only do you struggle to focus on a single problem, truly concentrate, but you also harm your memory and working capacity. 
You don't always need to indulge in new information. It will not make you more productive and it will not increase your levels of happiness. FOMO or fear of missing out largely controls the way we live and it also influences us to try to indulge in as much information as possible. Yes, the human brain can process 11 million bits of information per second, but our conscious minds can only take in about 40 bits. The processing of all the information you are constantly receiving by your subconscious can make you mentally exhausted. Information overload has been suspected to cause sleep disorder, anxiety, and reduced focus. When your brain can't properly process all the information you feed into it, it releases cortisol and enters a state of stress. I personally love multitasking, but while making this video, all my hopes of it being a productive process were completely destroyed. We all would love to be more productive. I mean, who doesn't want it to be able to do more in less time? That's when we turn to multitasking in hopes of being more productive, but multitasking is not at all. In most cases, it is just a blind illusion of productivity. The best thing to do is minimize interruptions and work on one complex task at a time. Here I'm talking specifically about complex tasks that require a lot of your attention, not washing dishes or cleaning the house. Of course, in these situations you can easily multitask. Earl Miller, a neuroscientist at MIT, states that our brains are not wired to multitask well. When people think they're multitasking, they're actually just switching from one task to another very rapidly. And every time they do so, there's a cognitive cost in doing so. You believe you're getting a lot done, but it actually makes you less efficient. Multitasking is information overload. It increases stress and causes mental exhaustion by overstimulating your brain. Trying to focus on one complex task and simultaneously being distracted by outside circumstances can reduce your effective IQ or in other words decrease the quality of your work. Shifting your attention and keeping it on a single task requires the same brain nutrients. Vast shifts in our attention that happen when we multitask causes the brain to burn through this fuel fast so that we feel mentally exhausted after only a short period of time. If you can defeat FOMO and separate yourself from the constant flow of new information most people are stuck in, you will gain a giant advantage against anyone else. You need to be able to stay alone with your own thoughts and properly focus on the task in front of you. It was a pleasure to create this video and I wish you a great day.